What is going on guys? Papa C back with another Duel Links video for you guys and I know it has been quite a while since I have said that. If you guys don't know, this is actually my second channel so to say. I do have a main channel which is focused on Pokemon. Link is in the description. I might even upload this on the Pokemon channel too. I don't even know. If you're watching on the Pokemon channel, link to the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel's description. Maybe I'll merge them. I don't know. Either way, I'm rambling. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is here. I've taken a little bit of a break from this game. Uh, in the past week or so leading up to 5Ds, I have been playing it a little bit. I've been auto-dueling. I played the Yubel event. Haven't played much PvP. I'm in gold. Haven't played since like June or July. But 5Ds is here. If you are hyped, if you love 5Ds, leave a like down below. I absolutely love 5Ds. Probably my favorite generation of Yu-Gi-Oh, so to say. First and foremost, if you don't know how to unlock 5Ds, very simple. They kind of hide it a little bit, though. All you have to do is summon 10 Wind Monsters. Kind of a weird thing. Oh my god, and there's Yusei's voice. This is my first time actually hearing it, too, because I was playing on my phone, and I just uploaded it on my PC so I could record. Haven't actually heard the music in the voice lines, and oh my god, I love the music. Probably because I'm so used to the GX and the Duel Monsters world music that's hearing something different is great, but it fits the 5Ds themes so much. And 5Ds in general, you say I think really, really fits the theme. So, uh, first thing I want to show you guys, I just want to filter this by the new card. So, the first card that you get, where is it actually? This card, okay. So, when you get the 5Ds Duel World unlocked, you get Junk Rebo when you summon your 10 Wind Monsters. Kind of a bad card, it's not that great. Maybe I'm going to eat my words, I hope I eat my words, but um... You, like, discard your opponent, activates a card effect that inflict damage to you, and you negate the activation. That's kind of cool. I guess it gets around Lava Golem, but I don't know if Lava Golem counts as your own monster. I think it does. So it's kind of an interesting card. I mean, it's Junk Kribo. It's like the Kribo card of this generation, so it's kind of cool. You, unfortunately, don't get Stardust Dragon. I've seen a lot of polarizing opinions about that. I personally get it in the sense of Stardust Dragon is an insanely powerful card. Yes, it's an ace, but them giving it to you just for nothing is kind of crazy. Uh, we do get Junk Warrior, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, once they increase the level cap, we get the other good Junk Monsters, maybe Quick Draw Synchron. Uh, junk Berserker is a drop board. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, now, I play the TCG a ton during the 5Ds era, so I am very, very familiar with the 5Ds cards. Junk Warrior is one of you... Not you said... Yeah, you say his name. <laughs> Blank out there. Junk Warrior is one of Yusei's main cards. Uh, it's Junk Synchron and one of more two monsters. Unfortunately, you don't get a Junk Synchron unless you use this skill, um, which I'll talk about right now. So this skill that you start off with right when you get Yusei, at the beginning of the duel, you add two Junk Synchrons to your deck and one Starter Strike. And Junk Synchron, normal summon it. It's level 3 tuner, special summon level 2. Is it level 2 or lower? Yeah, level 2 or lower monster from your graveyard. And then bam, easy access to the level 5 Junk Warrior. Starter Dragon, such a great card. Honestly, don't know how to go fair in the Duel Links meta. I'm not too up to date with the meta. I know Fur Hires are still pretty good. Um, I believe uh, Ultra Athletes are a good deck. I know nothing about that deck, though. Uh, but Stardust Dragon, basically, when your opponent would activate a card or effect that would destroy something on your side of the field, Tribute Stardust Dragon to negate it, and then Special and Stardust back at the end phase, level 8 Synchro. One of the most iconic Synchro cards, especially when uh, Synchro first came out on the TCG, it was probably easily top 3. Because uh, Black Rose Dragon is pretty cool. We don't have that yet yet. Black Rose Dragon is a Dark Hole, which is crazy. <laughs> Imagine getting Dark Hole in this game. So like I was saying though, we do have Junk Warrior. Not nearly as good as Stardust Dragon, but it does look cool. Uh, what is even its effect? So if this card is Synchro Summon, it gains attack equal to the total attack of level 2 monsters you currently control. Not that great, if I'm being honest. Uh, but going over the new box, and this video is going to be sort of like an overview of 5Ds. So uh, I want to talk about the new box, but before we do that actually, let's talk about Akiza, which I don't have unlocked yet. How do you get Akiza? Get to stage level 5 or 6, I'm not sure. She appears at the gate. Uh, we'll actually take a look at her at the gate right now. Uh, if we switch gate to the beautiful, I love the 5Ds logo too. Beautiful, beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. And we have Akiza. If you look at her rewards here, which are on the right hand side, you can see these. Nothing too great, if I'm being honest. You know, I was hoping we get something like Mark of the Rose. Mark of the Rose is, um, I believe if you control a Plantite monster, you can control one of your opponent's monsters and it's Eclipse spell. And I think it's kind of like Snatch Deal in that sense. Uh, I don't know for sure. Black Rose Dragon would have been great. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom would have been a fantastic card. Lone Fire Blossom, level 3 plant. Tribute it, especially on a plant from the deck. That would have been insane, actually. Uh, would have gave Sylvan's a little bit of a buff. I think Sylvan's might have been able to come back with that card because you can just summon that. Tribute to get Guardi Oak, uh, which would have been kind of cool, but I don't like Sylvan, so I guess I'm kind of glad about that. Her quote unquote ace, I guess, so to say, even though I don't think she's ever actually used this card. Because this card came out in the Zexal era of the TCG, so I have no idea if she actually used it in the in the anime, because I haven't finished the 5Ds anime. But, um, yeah, so you especially went up by banishing two level 7 or higher plants, one from your hand, one from your graveyard. And once per turn, you get the effects of all the face-up cards in the field till the end of this turn. Doesn't seem too relevant, 
I mean, it's 2900, which is cool, but like nothing else seems that great. Like this fusion, like who's going to use this? Um, these SRs aren't that great. I didn't read this one yet, actually. Thorn of Malice. So equipped one with Black Rose Dragon. We don't have that. <laughs> Maybe she has a skill that has it, actually. I don't even know. Uh, or a plant monster, King Signature Attack, Equip Monster, Attack, Defense Monster, Inflict Piercing Damage. I mean, okay. Yeah, nothing too great here. Yusei's drops actually do seem a little interesting. We do have Junk Berserker, which was somewhat of a meta relevant card uh there was a deck that focused a lot around yusei's card which is funny because you don't really see a lot of the anime protagonist cards be meta uh, in the tcg and it, it didn't really focus on this card but it did play this card uh and basically i believe you can just destroy a face-up card once per turn or something like that uh so it's junk synchron and one more tuner monster one more non-tuners you can banish one junk monster from your graveyard and then target one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls or one face-up monster opponent controls that target loses attack to the Banish Monster's attack. SR damage step, this card attacks Banish Monster, destroy that monster. That's not that bad. You know, it, it's easy removal. I think in a game like Duel Links, this card could be meta relevant. Level 7 Synchro. Level 7s tend to be uh, an easier number to bring out, at least from the TCG, because so many starter monsters are level 4, and then a lot of the tuners were level 3. Uh, so getting a 7 really is that hard. Uh, the problem, though, is like, one, these drops aren't that great. Not there, you say level up rewards. Uh, I believe it's level 30 is pretty good. I think Unknown Synchron is what it's called. You can like special summon it from your hand or something like that. Yeah, it's got like a Cyber Dragon, which is kind of cool. Level 1 tuner. But a lot of the Synchros are not generic. And what I mean by that is they require a certain tuner or a certain type of monster. As you can see, Yusei actually gets no Synchro monsters by level up, which is interesting. Akiza, I'm not sure if she does. I haven't fully unlocked yet. Um, Crow, I believe you unlock him by getting 5,000 dual assessment against a certain NPC. Uh, another cool th I think it's against this guy, actually. I don't know. It's against one of these NPCs that's, like, exclusive to, to 5Ds. Uh, which is cool, because 5Ds has, like, these exclusive NPCs, which you don't really see. They're not legendary duelists. They're kind of cool. They're sector security, or whatever they call them. So. Uh, and then I think for Luna, it's... I, there's Luna and Leo. I forget their English names or the Japanese names, which is which. One would be Luma. I don't know. But you get one of them at level 10, and the other one I don't have to unlock. Now, one of them has Ancient Fairy Dragon. The other one has Power Tool Dragon as their main aces, both of which very, very good cards. It's your Fairy Dragon, it's currently banned TCG. Power Tool Dragon is used in a lot of random niche combos. Not Nothing too meta relevant, but it is a really cool card. It allows you to search out equip spells, while Ancient Fairy Dragon allows you to uh, destroy a field spell and search for field spell. In a game like Duel Links, with a lot of skills that require field spells, that could be a good card if we get it. I don't even know if we have it, if I'm being honest, but anyway. Going on to the box, which I actually did not open at all. I haven't opened, like, the past, like, four boxes or three boxes. Let me take a look at this, actually. So, we have... Oh, we have a new starter deck, don't we? Actually, let's take a look at that, actually. I didn't really look at this. So, this gives you a second copy of Junk Warrior, which is cool. Um, Junk Blader. So, you get Junk Monsters, which is good, because you needed those. However, do you get other tuners? Junk Forward's a good card. You special summon it with Troll No Monsters. Uh, that's pretty good. That could be meta relevant. Junk Anger. Okay. So for a Synchro, somebody can substitute this card for any one Synchron Tuner Monster. That's actually really good. Once per turn, you can discard one card, target one non-tuner Junk Monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, and if you do immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Synchro Monster, let's say Synchron Monster as a tuner. Using that monster and this card only, the Synchro Material Monsters are banished to go into the graveyard. This card is interesting. I might try to build a deck around this card. However, I'm really not too keen to have to spend money to get three, which is, I feel like you're going to need three of these. Speed Warriors, it's whatever. Not that good. Uh, we do get Gravity War. Gravity, okay, this is what I was talking about before. We don't have too many Synchros that are generic. And what I mean generic is one tuner, one or more non-tuners. You look at Junk War, it's not generic because you need Junk Synchron. This is generic. It's level six as well. Um, which, do we have any level two tuners? I don't really know. But, what does this guy do? Gain Thrones Attack for each Chase of Monster your opponent controls. During your opponent's battle phase, you can target one defense monster they control, change to attack position, also must attack if able. Not terrible, but the only reason people will use it is because it's generic. Like, it's one of those things. And that was the other thing that was relevant in the TCG, is there were a lot of random bad synchros that were only used because they were generic. So, this starter deck, honestly, I would wait, I would hold your gems. I'm probably not, probably gonna buy it anyway. Because I want to see if it's good. But I honestly could potentially see this being meta relevant. You could just go special junk forward, summon this, go into junk warrior. But then what do you do with that? You have a 2300 beater. Like, that's cool. That's not that good anymore. It's not 2017. Um, I don't know. But going on to the um, 
the pack. Also, the selection boxes are back. That's cool. I forgot about that. Till October 5th. So, start of acceleration. The new set, it is a main box. They changed main boxes since I've last played. Main boxes are a little bit smaller, and it's the mini box is a little bit bigger. Uh, but we have some really good cards. The problem is, the only cards you care about are UR. First off, we have a new Paleozoic. I don't think this card is really that great. I know Paleozoics in real life don't play, but then again, Duel Links in real card games is a bit different. But it's cool to see Paleozoic support. It's a really fun archetype in this game. And I think Paleozoic could be decent with Synchros because they're level 2. So they function nicely with Junk Warrior. But then again, there's Traps. You can special summon them from the grave. I don't know. Paleos are always been cool. You have the Frogs now, which is nice. I think you have the Frogs at least. Gen X Undyne is a big card I want to talk about. So this card, when it's normal summon, you send a Water Monster from deck to grave. Add your Gen X Controller from deck to hand. Gen X Controller is a level 3 no effect tuner. That doesn't really matter. However, since we have the Atlanteans, what you can do is summon Gen X Undyne, send one of the Atlanteans, one pops a face-up card, one pops a face-down card, Marksman and uh, Infantry. Uh, Marksman's the face-down, Infantry's the face-up. I play them in TCG, so I should know them. I should know this, because I play Mermails. Um, so you summon the Undyne, send one of them from deck to grave, pop a card, add a controller. With Gen X controller, next turn, you could synchro something like Flame Bell Urukris, which is a level 6, I think just a Pierce, I think that's all it really does. Um, which is cool, but what you could also do... Summon Gen X Undyne, send Heavy Infantry, destroy a face-up card your opponent controls, Heavy Infantry is level 2. Next turn, it's kind of slow, because you gotta do over 3 turns. Summon Junk Synchron, Special Summon the Infantry, Synchro Summon into your um, Junk Warrior, and then turn up for that, Normal Summon the Gen X Controller, Synchro into your Stardust Dragon. Now you have to use the skill to get the Junk Warriors, because for whatever reason they didn't give us Junk Warriors, which is so weird to me. Like, it's a good card, but, like, I feel like it should have given to us. Is, like, at least with the USA starter deck, like, give us one Junk Warrior, make it an SR, and maybe a level up reward, level 30 or something, and then, boom, you have two Gen X, uh, two Junk Warriors. And then make the skill just give you Stardust, you know, don't make it so the skill gives you Junk Warrior, or Junk Synchron, whatever. Kind of weird. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of how Konami's handling 5Ds, but at the same time, and I know that I'm walking in eggshells here and I'm in the minority, I do feel like the dueling community as a whole complains a little bit too much about things. Um, I understand that Stardust is an ace monster, but it not being just given to you, it, I understand that. Um, I do think they should have given us Junk Synchron, Junk Warrior. Uh, I do think maybe even Nitro Warrior. Nitro Warrior is a pretty decent card. Maybe Quick Draw Synchron. Hopefully in the future we get that as like an event, because Quick Draw Synchron is a very good card. It's level 5 tuner. Discard one special it. Pretty nice. So, continuing on. Um, we do have this as a generic level 5, which is arguably better than Junk Warrior, because this card lets you special summon a level 4 lower warrior type monster from your hand. So what you could do, is you could synchro with this, and then special summon a second Junk Warrior, and then go to level 8. Or Junk Synchro, I get them mixed up. I don't know, this box is really interesting, I do think it has a lot of potential, however I do not recommend going for it just yet. We also do have these other Gen X Synchros, which I did not read yet, and some X Saber stuff. Um, because like... Gen X Synchros were never really that great in the TCG, so generally speaking, if a card's not good in the TCG, it's probably not going to be good in Duel Links. Um, let me rephrase that. Generally speaking, if a card is bad in the TCG, it'll be bad in Duel Links. Not necessarily if a card is good and stupidly good in this game. Generally, it's it's the, the negatives that, that correlate. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But um, yeah, nothing really seems that great from the R's and the N's, if I'm being completely honest. There's no N Synchro, and I believe there's no N Junk Monster. This card looks cool. Key Man the Key Warrior. Make sure level 3 is the end phase. We're going to see a lot of that too. A lot of cards that change their level. Because Synchros rely on levels of course. Um, but this interesting box. I'm going to not buy anything from it yet. I'll have to see Monday. We got Dark Soul. What? That's a really good card. Man, X Sabers were such a good... And we get Genix Neutron. Wow. Oh, and Azure Eyes. This is a Blue Eyes tuner. Huh. Or Blue Eyes Synchro. Excuse me. A lot of interesting stuff. Oh, Offerings to Doom finally released outside of the freaking selection box like a year later. Uh, but yeah, in a nutshell, you know, I think 5Ds could be better. Um, I do think it has an insane amount of potential. There's a lot of events that are going on. We still don't know all the characters that you can unlock. Because I'm recording this, like, as soon as I can. I woke up this morning, played it for a little bit, went to class, came home. I have, like, an hour, and then I have to go back to class. So, <laughs> I'm kind of rushing here. I do apologize. But I do believe that some of the starter decks are actually on sale, which is kind of cool. So, I don't have the Spellbook one. So, this one you could actually get for... Oh, it's sold. This one's money. That's why I don't have it. <laughs> but, um, one like the Destiny one, which is actually a decent one. 
you can get... Well, actually, I already bought them, so I can tell you. But I believe they're on sale. So, you might want to be interested in that. I mean, building heroes now is a little bit too late. Heroes are still decent, I believe. But, uh, they're kind of expensive. And that's pretty much it that I want to talk about today. Um, I might be streaming tonight on Twitch. Link in the description. Make sure you check that out. Also, it tells you all the skills they get now. Oh my god, that's actually really good. Level tuning. Akiza gets it too, apparently. Okay, it's like two monsters inside the field. Declare a monster level between one and four and change the levels. Wow. So anyway, I'll probably be shooting this later tonight. If I have time. Because I have a lot of homework and stuff like that. I'm rambling. I know it's been two months that I've recorded. I just kind of fell out of Duel Links. I got bored of it. Konami was making questionable decisions. The community was complaining all the time. And I'm complaining. So I guess I'm, I fit that bill. But I gotta go. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see more Duel Links content, leave a like down below. I plan on doing more videos like this. Uh, you know, looking at decks and looking at events, stuff like that. But I really am rambling. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys think of 5Gs in the comments below. And bye-bye.